What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, we just got done with a South Florida nuisance alligator hunt. That means an alligator got in or near somebody's backyard. They called the state of Florida and said, oh my goodness, there's a gator here trying to eat my dog or he's just in my yard harassing me. The state then calls my buddy Chris, who's a nuisance alligator trapper. He gets a tag and we get to go hunting. And you can too. I'll explain that in a little while. But first, let me explain how we do this. So we take spinning rods, a small snatch hook with a weight on the bottom of it. You sneak around these golf courses once you see them. You try to get the gator to where he's broadside and you make real long casts. And that's exactly what we're about to do and exactly what I'm about to show you. But don't laugh because I'm getting ready to bust my butt. <laughs> I got that all on video. Don't hook him too hard. Don't hook him too hard. Just pump it. That's it, that's it, that's it. Run the drag, run the drag, run the drag. That's 65. You got him, boy. <laughs> this gator is going to be such a good eating gator. Now we got some more meat into him. Here, come here, Jemalaya. No, you take that rod because you got to put the heat on him with that rod. Do we have the, do you have the, the catch ball? Oh, come on, don't go down there. <laughs> Sometimes these small gators can be way more of a pain in the butt than big gators. He's just wearing himself out. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Get a little more tension on that line. See the bushes right there moving? Oh, come on. Please come into the clearing for us. Huh? I'm sore. Why you, why you? <laughs> Starting to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> what are you digging for? About 15 stitches in my leg. Try to like not pop it too hard, but maybe just put a little bit to get it off them weeds. Yeah. Yeah, here. Do you want? You want anything? Well, I don't want you to hurt yourself. Kayla will kill me. Yeah, if you pop those stitches, it's not going to be good. Uh -oh. Uh oh. He's out farther than you thought. So wrapped up on him too. Yeah, I don't want to pop that scooch. Pop it on the scooch. Right? There we go. You got him? Yep. Uh -huh. Here, you can do the catch pole. No, you do the catch pole. Here, you take this rod because this is the rod you can put a lot of effort on. Now put the heat on him with that. Uh uh, stop. You stop, you give me this, and you go get the catch pole. Wait, what? You go pull him out of the water. I'm, I'm just here to, to, to assist. Pull him. You're gonna be good on Doug Rail. All right, go get on his back. Come right down his back like I showed you. Push down on the top of his head, then get his mouth closed. Go straight. Now put your butt on him. There you go. Put your butt on him. Get up forward. There you go. Now cover his eyes. And you got your first gator. <laughs> All right. Pesky gator number one got, got caught. I'm still like shaking. That's a good thing. If you're not, then that's the problem. You what? <laughs> shaking. <laughs> I thought it was a gator shaking at first, but it was just, just her hands. Do you think that gator knew he was going to end up in well, some grease pet. tonight? No, no, no. And how many times did how many times did we hook him and lose him? A bunch. Done deal. Done deal. What's that? Nuisance gator number one in the box. 
Unfortunately, the video is not going to be that great because it's raining, but we only got one GoPro working right now. Y'all check her out. Give her a thumbs up. She's got him on a live on her shoulder. And she does everything fast, wide open. <laughs> I thought you wanted to go to the gym, so here's your workout. This is perfect. So with these nuisance gators like this, they either have to be euthanized or taken to a certain location where they can't ever get turned back out. So right now, we're gonna euthanize him and we're gonna take him home and eat him and just sort of let him fall off your back. Right into the truck. Whoa. Push now. Get your foot right in there. August 15th is right around the corner. And for those of y'all that gator hunt in the state of Florida, y'all know what that means. That means open a week of gator season. But fortunately for me, I've got a good friend, Chris, and his wife, Kayla, who run a nuisance gator hunting program for the state of Florida. They get the tag, we can go get the gator. And if you want to do that, I'll have everything for Chris's information in the link below, and you can go with him on a gator hunt. That's right. If you didn't get any tags for the state of Florida, or if, even if you live up north, and you want to come do a gator hunt, you can do it with Chris and he can take you on these calls and you yourself can get one done. Right now, we got to give this gator a bath, a bubble bath. I got my friend Jamie behind me. It was her first ever alligator. We didn't know we were going to do it. Chris called me and said we got a tag, so we went. Y'all watch this. All right, well now that you've seen me give this gator a bubble bath, you're about to watch me clean him, but I'm not done yet. I've got a couple big gators I killed last year and the video is already out, but I'll show you a little clip of that for those of y'all that haven't seen the video or just started following me. I'm gonna show you one episode of what not to do, gator hunting. He's coming straight up now, hold on. Just don't hit my toe. <laughs> You want me to reverse? Hold on. You want me to cut that game? This is a live, a live round right here. Watch yourself, man. Get ready, Mark. When he comes up, I don't. I see his right there. Hold on. Give me that GoPro. That's his front leg. Get a bob leg. Get ready. <laughs> right. Nope, nope. Come where I'm at and angle down. Go. Alright, so that was dangerous, but I've done it hundreds of times and I didn't let it get the best of me. Don't ever get wrapped up. This is my bang stick. For those of y'all wanting to gator hunt that don't have the correct gear, this is a Gator Pro bang stick. And I'll have everything for them in the link below. This is my fish gig, but it's also my gator harpoon. You just unscrew the gig and put the harpoon on. All of this is made by Gator Pro. For those of y'all that watch Robert, same company he uses, same company I use. All right, time to clean the alligator. So as pretty as this hide is, I don't want it. I don't need it. I'm only after the meat. I've got my, this is the cheapest knife Danko makes. And I'm about to skin the hardest thing you can skin with it. An alligator. Once you get down to about right here, there's no more edible meat in the tail. So really the best part of the meat on the tail is from here to here. And then there's plenty of good meat up the body. So I'm going to stop right there, come down this side. These scoots are so cool. Look at the detail on them right there. It's pretty dope. Now, if I'm eating an alligator, I'm typically gonna kill one this exact size. 
These bigger alligators, they're all right, but there's so much work getting the fat out of the meat. Everybody's scared of the fat, and there's a good reason. It tastes horrible. The big gators are good eating. You just got to take so much time to remove all that. Once you get up here, you got to find you a little groove to run your knife through. And that's that. Look at that. At this point, it's just like a fish or a deer or a hog. You're just getting the skin, getting your knife tip right in there, and working your way down. Now, if you're trying to save the hide, take your time because if you cut through it, that's more work for the guy who's tanning it. All right, so as you can see, I got the skin removed. It's still attached underneath, and I'll take care of that in a minute. But I want to take out these two top loins. These loins are just like on a deer. They're pretty much the best chunk of meat. And there's four sections. There's two underneath and two on the top. This is, his backbone's actually a T like that, and there's a loin sitting in each corner. This little gator's got some fat on it, and I'm gonna show you in a second when I get it off here. More than I thought. And that's it that's one loin you can see this little layer of fat right in here you had better trim that out that's all I can tell you because it tastes horrible but we'll do that in the kitchen when we get inside so I'm going to remove the other four loins and then I'll show you how to clean the upper part of the gator all right so just like a deer up here he has back straps I'm going to cut down both sides of his scoops peel that off and skin down the legs you can't, just about cannot cut through these scoots. I'm gonna have to turn him before I do it. Anytime you're cleaning anything, make sure you keep the point of the knife away from you, especially a gator because it's, it skins so tough. Now, as far as the euthanation, we stuck him right in the back of the head. He was dead in seconds and probably didn't know what happened. So we took care of it. We didn't torture him. Hopefully, he just went easy. That's all I can tell y'all. We did it as humanely as we could. Well, for those of y'all wonder what the back of a skint gator looks like, there it is. This knife, like not even a toot Danko's horn, that's like a $12 knife. And I just cut through the scoot part of that alligator. So I don't know what y'all want to take of that, but that knife is sharp. And I've also been skinning this gator for 30 minutes. So it's not like I just took it out of the box. In the pail. This isn't a ton of meat, but if you're having a party with your buddies or fish fry or Whatever, this is probably a pound and a half of meat that's going to come off of its back. And it'll probably be the most tender out of all of it. You take a pounding hammer, like a tenderizer hammer, and beat that out, put it in some flour and buttermilk. Woo! Just like that, the back straps are off. We probably already have 15 pounds of meat. 
I'm not too sure about the legs. I know Robert likes them. I'm not too crazy about it. You want to see a cool video and you haven't already seen it, go to Deer Meat for Dinner and check out his video. I think if I can find it, I'll put it in the description below. He smokes a whole gator leg, like a smoked turkey leg. He does it with an alligator leg. That's probably one of the most interesting things I've ever seen because I would have never guessed to smoke anything gator-wise. Hello, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got the skin removed. I'm not gonna take the whole bone off. I'm just gonna take these two big chunks of the ham out. That's what we're gonna call this, the ham. I know alligators are just like chickens. They have white meat and dark meat. If you look at that, that's the dark meat and that's the white meat. And they'll have two totally different flavors. Both are pretty unique and both are good. I don't think one's better than the other. There you go. All right, well y'all see me skin an alligator. I'm gonna take the other three legs off. I'm gonna remove his head, put it out in the creek for the kids. We'll see y'all in the kitchen. All right, this is that perfect muscle I was telling you about, the big bottom loin. Come in here a little closer so they can see. So this is the muscle that controls their tail. And when you take it out, this is the easiest part of a gator to clean, is this muscle. And it's probably the best tasting muscle. But that ain't the only good one in the gator, except for these. You see that little layer of fat? You gotta get this fat off. You cannot leave it on. It will ruin the meat and almost make it taste horrible. And it's a pain in the butt to get off. It comes off in sections. See how it sort of peels off? See how nasty that is? You do not want to eat that. But now that I've shown you that, I cut this loin up right here in little chunks. About like so. Take that off. I'm cutting in half inch thick cube little chunks. And right here, I already have some that I've done. Marinating in milk, lime, a little bit of soy sauce, and some Dano's Original. And this is what we're gonna eat. All right, here we go. This is gonna be the fastest cooking segment ever. Mmm. So good but can y'all smell it? All right, the reason I'm going so fast is this video is already at 19 minutes and I'm trying to keep them at least under 20. So all I have in here is regular flour, some of the spicy danos, a little bit of salt, and just that's it. Dump the gator meat in there after I took it out of the marinade and we're frying it. We got some asparagus and we got some homemade mashed potatoes that Jamie made. Quick and easy, wham bam, thank you ma'am. 350 degrees for three minutes, period. No more, no less. A lot of time when people are cooking gator meat, they overcook it and that's why it gets so chewy and tough. Let me make something perfectly clear to you guys. I'm not the biggest alligator fan because I've caught so many and the smell sort of turns me off. You see this mess? And yeah, my hands, I busted my hands again. You see that? I'm telling you right now, I've already tried it. You see how tender that was? That quite possibly is the best piece of meat I've ever put in my mouth of any kind, ever. Alligator. 
You guys, I would have never guessed I could make it that good. I had that marinade in my mind. I had soy sauce, some Dano's original, a little bit of milk, and a little bit of vinegar. And the vinegar sort of kicks that muddy taste or that like gamey taste just a little bit. <sighs> Highly recommended. But right now we got to end this video. I got to sit down and finish it so I can have it up to you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for all the positive comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button because we got big things coming. I've got a trip coming up soon that ain't none of y'all going to expect and it's going to be so cool. Hey, but like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See ya.